It is award season and the Oscars right around the corner and there's best actors and actresses and Golden Globes and screenplays and all of this going on. Well, we decided that we would have the uh, first annual Yelp Awards and joining us with that is John Ackerman who is uh, with Yelp and, and John, what a brilliant idea to celebrate your 10th anniversary. You're actually coming up with some with some awards here and we'll, so we'll start with the award for best screenplay goes to Trick Dog. Trick Dog. Okay. So uh, for screenwriters in local business world, we yeah. thought it'd be fun to honor the people that are giving out the best uh, menu writing. You okay. know, Trick Dog is really infamous um, in the bar world uh, about taking so much time and effort into their menus. Oh. So the first series was a Pantone uh -huh. um, paint palette <laughs> where you know throughout the cocktail world you have dark to light drinks right. and they frame the entire menu around the coloring. Oh, that's fantastic. Yeah, I mean, so much so where people are trying to walk out of the bar with these With the menu. Yeah. That is yeah. high praise. I mean, that's the ultimate yeah. that people want to yeah. take it home as an yeah. art project. And these guys are real artists when it comes to cocktails. They're the Bon mm -hmm. Vivants. They had a pop-up bar last night in Stockholm. Um, they're traveling the world, getting a lot of notoriety. And then the second menu series they did was old 45 record vinyl records uh -huh. where they based uh, drinks on the records themselves. Really? Yeah, and right now they're doing Zodiac. Oh, there we get a look. There we get a look yeah, at the, there's the Pantone. Yeah, exactly, yeah, yeah. exactly. Okay. exactly. Okay. And they have a great kitchen, too. They do. Well, it helps that, too. Yeah, yeah. you got to eat yeah. when you're doing all yeah. the drinking and reading, right? <laughs> right, exactly. Yeah. You know, that is really an underappreciated art, I think, is mm -hmm. writing a descriptive mm -hmm. and appetizing menu. Yeah, it's one of those first things when you sit down, right? You well, feel yeah. the ambiance, and then you get that menu right in front of you. And yeah. You you know, everywhere from chefs to different cocktail bars, you gotta set the set the scene. Yeah, that description is gonna make or break yeah. in many cases yeah. the restaurant. So yeah. Congratulations, Trick Dog. All right, they're yeah. the winners of the Yelp Best Screenplay <laughs> right. menu writing. Right. All right, and uh, the Best Original Soundtrack, which is always a very highly mm -hmm. contested sure. uh, uh, competition. Yeah. The Yelp goes yeah. to the makeout room. The makeout room, <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah. Would music really matter there? <laughs> you have to set the mood, there I suppose. You go. Okay. It reminds right. me actually of like old basement parties, like in the oh, '60s or uh -huh. '70s. So on Tuesday mm -hmm. nights, they do deep sounds from the 1960s, where they do oh. play. They have a DJ that plays sure. original 45s on vinyl. On 45. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. Great idea. And, and they have a disco ball. You of know, course, you got to have you know, one of those. Yeah. Mood lighting right. and there's dancing and people in red booths and it's a lot of fun. That's right? fantastic. Yeah. And on top of that, they also have happy hour specials. Yeah, uh, as I mean, well, right? two dollar drinks, uh, yeah. two dollar beers, three dollar wells as right. well. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah. Uh, let's turn now to best production aside, uh, design, and the Yelp goes to. Butter. Butter. Yeah. Butter. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> a really infamous bar, again, uh -huh. um, over on 11th Street in Soma. And production design is all about when you walk into a place, you that should know. That was a know, great logo that they have. Right. Yeah. Isn't it funny? I yeah. mean, it's right outside of their mm -hmm. building. They have bright yellow butter walls. Mm -hmm. And uh, when you walk in, you know exactly where you are. Right. You're it's unlike butter. any other place. Yeah. And they yeah. really nail their theme from beginning to end. Mm -hmm. I mean, they have jello shots. They have a Winnebago <laughs> cut out inside. The, inside really? the bar. Yeah. A full size Winnipeg yeah. goes inside yeah, the bar. Yeah, yeah. Wow. It's one of those okay. places where you kind of end up late at night and yeah, you're yeah. like, oh man, <laughs> I'm at butter. <laughs> <laughs> this is perfect. Yeah. Uh, so this is, this is a great idea mm -hmm. that you guys came up with, and you were telling me that you're celebrating your 10th anniversary. Yeah. 10 years of Yelp. It's hard to believe yeah. that you've been around yeah. that long. Yeah, started at a com in a conversation in San Francisco between Russell Simmons, not the music guy, right. um, yeah. and Jeremy Stoppelman, mm -hmm. um, trying to figure out a way to connect people with great local businesses. Yep. And over the course of 10 years, growing over to 24 countries. Mm -hmm. Starting in San Francisco, then moving to different cities, San Diego and Boston. And in every city, we have a local community manager, sure. like myself, right. where they're the, you know, making sure that locals are getting to know to have that rich content in everywhere you travel around mm -hmm. the world. And now you've gone to 24 countries, mm -hmm. as, as you mentioned. Uh, what are the plans for the future for Yelp? Well, we'd love to be in every country around the world, making sure wherever you go, you have that great local content that you can source anything you need. You know, you were mentioning the fact that in 10 years, you've gone from boom to almost bust to now yeah. back on sta stable ground again. Well, not us. We, we you know, we've 
really maintained steady across but, the 10 years. But if you think about back to 2008, 2009, I'm yeah. sure there were a lot of startups who were like, hey, are we going to make it? Right. And I think it's a really testament to our community. Mm -hmm. I mean, they're the ones that are continuing to write that really valuable content when you're going to Yelp, whether you're on the go or spending mm -hmm. that time on the site, you know, throughout the work week, finding out that best place over right. the, for the weekend. Yeah. Well, congratulations.